Ball control is one of the most important areas of your game that you need if you want to be a good player. So in this video, we are going over five soccer ball control habits that you need to develop. This video is sponsored by Rucket Sports, where you can get 15% off of their line of soccer products by clicking on the link down below. Rucket Sports sells a variety of soccer goals of all sizes and for all ages, along with other training equipment like rebounders to help you improve your game. They are not only great for team training, but for your own individual training as well. I personally use their products during my own training sessions and I love them. Click on the link down below to check them out for yourself. Let's get into the video. So number one is to use all of your body. You need to make sure that you are competent at controlling the ball in every single area. That means your chest, your thighs, your feet, but not just your chest, thighs, and feet. You need to be able to control with the inside, the outside, the top of your feet, you know, the sides of your thighs, the top of your thighs. It's not just the certain body part. You need to be able to control it in different situations when it comes to your chest in different ways, when it comes to your feet in different ways. Because if you're limited in the amount of ways you can control the ball, then in certain situations you're not going to be able to control effectively which means most likely you're going to lose it. So make sure when you are practicing your ball control you are working on all areas of your body controlling it with every single area and get to a point where you're good at every single area because there are going to be times when you need to control with your chest and it's not going to work with you bringing your foot all the way up there to try and control it so you need to get good at that. There are going to be times when you need to control it with the outside of your foot and you don't have time to set yourself up to do it with the inside of your foot. That means you need to get good with controlling it with that part of your foot. And so the better you can get at controlling it with all of these different areas, the better of a player you're just going to be. Second habit is to think about protecting the ball when you're controlling it. A lot of times in different matches, we'll have to receive the ball and we'll have someone close us down. So get used to using your ball control to make sure that you get your body between the ball and whatever man is coming your way. Now this will not be relevant to every single situation. There'll be times when you get the ball in space, there'll be times when you can turn your man and so on. But one of your default thoughts should be, let's make sure we don't lose the ball. Again, you wanna be looking for openings when you can attack and you wanna look for times when you're in space and can turn and attack the opposition. But for most of the time, you're gonna to wanna to get the ball and make sure your body is in between um, the man and the ball. And again, that's gonna come down to good ball control because if you can't touch it in the direction you need to touch it, you may touch it into the man, you may touch it too far in one direction. Um, so make sure that you are protecting the ball uh, when you go to control it. Number three is to master your first touch. To me, your first touch is one of the most important aspects of ball control. If it takes you four touches to get the ball down to your feet when it takes someone else one, uh, then you need to work on your first touch. You know, if your first touch isn't good, you may hit the ball too far ahead of you or you may get it stuck in your feet. You know, it may cause you to try and pass to a teammate first time and it go too far too short. You know, your first touch is incredibly important and honestly, probably one of the, again, the most foundational things um, that's a part of ball control. So I actually made a video on this, um, the five habits you need to develop good first touch. Um, so I will link that up below and in the description because again, first touch is gonna be one of the most important components when it comes to ball control. Number four is relax. I can't tell you how many times in my life I've miscontrolled the ball, not because my ability to control the ball was bad, but because I panicked. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen players who in a typical situation have incredible ball control, but again, miscontrol it because they get nervous or panic in different situations. You need to relax when you go to control the ball and trust in your ability to control it to take over. You know, you put in the practice and the work so that you can do it in matches, so that your training can essentially take you over during your matches. But if you're getting in your head and you're panicking and you're worrying because someone's on you, you're most likely gonna take a bad touch. So make sure you're relaxing when you're doing this. I'm not saying you're relaxing to the point where you're doing things slowly. I'm just saying don't get worked up about someone closing you down. Don't get worked up about losing the ball. Just relax, play your game, you know, confidently take your touches and go from there. A player who used to do this so fantastically well was Zinedine Zidane. I actually made a video on him and how to play like him and uh, uh, one of the biggest areas we go over is his ball control. So I will link that down below and have it come across. Um, if you really want to see what true mastery over the ball looks like, check out that video. Number five is to use less 
touches. Now there will be situations where you need to take many touches to control the ball, but the least amount of touches you take, the better. So if the ball is in the air, see how quickly you can get it down to your feet and see if you can do it in just one or two touches. Now the reason this is so essential is because every single second, every fraction of a second in football counts. You know, a second can be the difference between you getting the ball down to your feet and playing that through ball and putting your teammate in. And it can be the difference between that ball being intercepted or actually getting through. It can be the difference between there being open being an opening for you to shoot and that opening closing up. So the faster you can control the ball and bring it under your spell, the better. Now this will just come through experience, but it's also something you need to keep in mind because I used to, when I was younger, I used to take more touches than I needed to to control the ball, even though I definitely had the ability to control it in less touches. And I had to get it in my head that if I can control it in two touches, I should not be juggling it and taking five or six or seven because you slow down the play. Now again, there'll be situations where you can do this and this will make sense, maybe you need to slow the play down, but in many different situations, you wanna take as few touches as you possibly can to control the ball. Ideally, you wanna do it on your first touch, but if you have to take two or three, that's fine, but take as little amount of touches as you can to bring the ball under your control. Um, that's just gonna allow you to have more options once it's under control and allow you to do more with the ball. All right guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Vote right now to tell me what player do you think has or had the best ball control. I'm gonna have four options for you. I'd be interested to know who you think actually has the best ball control. Please make sure you like and share this video and also subscribe to Simply Soccer if you are new. We we release videos like this all the time designed to help you improve as a soccer player. Also make sure you check out my new video course Ultimate Soccer Skills which will be linked down below. If you're a more serious player and really want to see growth and improvement in your game go check that out. Uh, we'll be releasing another video very very soon so make sure you come back to the channel and I will see you in the next video.